Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book. Number 470, 470, pardon your people. Pardon your people in our weakness. Give us strength, Lord. Give us peace. Forgive our sins, Lord. Forgive our failings. They are many, O Lord. Pardon your people in our weakness. Give us strength, Lord. Give us peace. Sometimes we're small, Lord, narrow in mind and heart. Give us your vision, O Lord. Pardon your people in our weakness. Give us strength, Lord. Give us peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Dolly Fernandez and Jerry Cotier and Irma Linda and Giovanni Passero. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for His mercy, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with deadly anxiety, fled to the Lord. She prayed to the Lord God of Israel and said, O oh my Lord, you only are our king. Help me, who am, who am alone and have no helper but you, for my danger is in my hand. Ever since I was born, I have heard in the tribe of my family that you, O Lord, took Israel out of all the nations and our ancestors from among all their forebears for an everlasting inheritance, and that you did for them all that you promised. Remember, O Lord, make yourself known in this time of our affliction, and give me courage. O King of the gods and master of all dominion, put eloquent speech in my mouth before the lion, and turn his heart to hate the man who is fighting against us, so that there may be an end of him and those who agree with him. But save us by your hand and help me, who am alone and have no helper but you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. 
For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of, the, of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give back to me the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Gathered on the hillside with the disciples, Jesus began to teach them, Ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open for you. For anyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Gospel, wipe away our sin. Amen. As we continue in our journey of coming to rediscover Jesus in Matthew Kelly's great work, we are reminded of this gospel in which Matthew reminds us that Jesus is that person we cannot escape who wants what is best for us. And this whole idea of us being so valuable to God, infinitely valuable is what Matthew uses. And it reminds us that, indeed, if we would give to our children in abundance, how much more God gives to us. Thereby, prayer, fasting, and giving of alms is an appropriate response for us in the season of Lent, because Jesus says, ask and it will be given you. Give us this day our daily bread. This is what we ask for. Jesus has given us permission. In fact, that's what he's told us to do. We're actually not asking permission. He instructed. And so as we gather in prayer, flooding heaven for peace in Ukraine, peace in our hearts, the job we need to provide for our family, a resolution to a particular conflict, healing because we have a physical, mental, or psychological ailment. The list goes on and on. Notice I didn't say a Leaf Stanley Cup, the Lotto 649. You know, we can pray for them, and if it happens, fantastic. But let's pray for real stuff, right? It's so important that we recognize that everything we come, excuse me, everything we have comes from the hand of God. And that prayer is real. And that we shouldn't be surprised when God answers our prayers. Rather, we should expect it. The only thing is that the result of the prayer may not be exactly what we want, but rather what God wants. So let us continue to commit ourselves this Lent to speak to the one who loves us more than we love ourselves, to make sure that we are prayer warriors and that we are especially lifting to God those who are most vulnerable 
and likely without our prayers may have no one to pray for them at all. Our deceased loved ones, our friends, the people that God has put on our path, strangers, those we hear about on the news, our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, the list goes on and on. There are many people who rely on our prayers. May we not be spiritually lazy, but rather let us cling to the cross, for indeed the psalm says, Lord, when I cried for help, you answered me. Let us trust in the power of God and in the power of prayer. Trusting that all our needs are presented to God and they are fulfilled according to his almighty will, let us offer these petitions to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Mother Church. May the Lord continue to bless her and protect her from all that is evil, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine, for peace in the world, for peace in our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all world and national leaders. May they be strengthened by the Holy Spirit and working to protect the dignity of human life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick and those who care for them. May they feel God's healing and fortifying power, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our community of faith here at St. Joseph. May God's grace help us in responding to Jesus' call to participate in building the kingdom of God here on earth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Dolly and Jerry, Nona and Nono, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the martyrs and saints who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, Father of love and mercy, you know our every need. We ask that you graciously hear these prayers, those we verbalize, those we hold within our hearts, and grant them according to your most holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication, and accepting the oblations and prayers of your people, turn on the hearts of us all toward you. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Dolly and Jerry and Nona and Nono, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us both now and in time to come. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Pardon your people in our weakness. Give us strength, Lord. Give us peace. We are loved, Lord. We have been given much. Still we often fail to love. Pardon your people in our weakness. Give us strength, Lord. Give us peace. We wish to serve you. You are living God in the name of your Son. Pardon your people in our weakness. Give us strength, Lord. Give us peace. God bless you. Have a good day.